Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So this question is regarding the zener diode. So here we have been given the range of the input voltage as well as the range of the load resistance. And here we have been given that the desired value of the regulated voltage is equal to 12 volt. So here we have been asked to find the series resistance which is required between the input and the zener diode. So first of all. Let us draw the circuit based on the given values. So here the input voltage varies between the 20 to 30 volt while the load resistance varies from 140 ohm to 10 kilo ohm. And here the zener voltage is equal to 12 volt. So we have been asked to find the value of this series resistor. Now here if you observe we have not given the value of this IZK as well as the IZM. So here we will assume that the zener knee current is equal to zero and the IZM is sufficiently large enough so that it will work in the given range. So considering that, let us say this IS is the source current or the series current and the IL is equal to load current. Now whenever the current through the zener diode IZ is zero at that time, we can say that this source current or series current IS is equal to IL. And in this condition, the voltage across the zener diode should be at least greater than or equal to the zener voltage. So let's say the voltage across the load is equal to VL. So this voltage VL should be greater than or equal to VZ. Now here if we assume that the entire series current IS is flowing through the load at that time we can say that this load voltage VL is equal to RL divided by RL plus RS times input voltage and this voltage should be greater than or equal to Vz. But actually, whenever this zener diode operates in the zener region, then some zener current will also flow through this zener diode. That means the value of the supply current Is or the series current Is should be greater than or equal to load current. Now here, for finding the value of Rs, we will consider the minimum value of the load resistance. Because whenever the load resistance is minimum at that time, the maximum current will flow through this load resistor. That means in this case, the maximum current will flow through the load whenever the load resistance is equal to 140 ohm. So whenever the RL is equal to 140 ohm, at that time, the load current IL will be equal to 12 volt divided by 140 ohm. That is equal to 3 divided by 35 ampere. On the other end, whenever the load is equal to 10 kilo ohm, at that time, the load current is equal to only 1.2 mA. That means this zener regulator circuit should able to supply the current in the worst case. So for that, we will consider the minimum load. Now similarly, if we talk about the input voltage, then we will also consider the minimum value of the input voltage. Because if you observe over here, for the fixed value of RS, this series current IS will be less for the 20 volt while it will be more for the 30 volt because this series current IS can be given as input voltage V in minus Vz divided by RS. So as the input voltage V in increases, this series current IS will also increase. So if this series current IS is able to supply the load current for the minimum voltage, then it will definitely work for the 30 volt. So considering this, we will calculate the value of RS for the 20 volt. So now we can say that the voltage VL should be greater than or equal to Vz and for this we will consider the minimum value of load as well as the minimum value of the input voltage. That means we can say that the value of RL minimum divided by RL minimum plus RS into V in minimum should be greater than or equal to Vz. That means 140 divided by 140 plus RS into 20 volt should be greater than or equal to 12 volt. So if we rearrange the terms and calculate the value of RS, then we will find that the value of RS should be less than or equal to 93.3 ohm. That means the maximum allowed value of the RS is equal to 93.3 ohm. So from this we can say that the D is the correct answer.